I could save time in a bottle The first thing that I'd like to do Is to save every day Till eternity passes away Just to spend them with you If I could make days last forever If words could make wishes come true I'd save every day like a treasure And then again I would spend them with you yes, yes. That's, that's Bill, one of Bill's greatest runners of all time, Matt Centrowitz Sr., who held the American record for 1,500 meters and held the American record for 5,000 meters. Oh, but I was... The coach. Yeah, coach. He was a distance running coach of, of the Los Angeles Olympics of 1984. Bill also uh, was a co one of the many coaches that Mary Slaney had, and he coached her when she made the Atlanta Olympics of 1996, which I believe was her last Olympics. And then Bill was a teammate of uh, the great Billy Mills. We all know about Billy. And here they are in Bill's house, looking over the Hall of Fame, having a photo, as they're seeing that photo. And this is the Bill's Olympic team of 1950, 40, I mean. Time out for a minute, so I gotta, I gotta take a look at that for a second. Oh, that's a 1984 yeah, team? Yeah, and there's my... Bill, the distance running coach of the 84, and there's their team of Los Angeles. Thank you, Meryl. Bill's saying the guy to the left of him here was John Warren, who was the uh, uh, coach of track and field at Oregon between Bill Hayward and Bill Bowerman. A lot of people don't he know was that. First. For about one year? Yeah. And then, of course, to the right of Bill is the great Len Casanova. Uh, of course, we have the Casanova Center in Eugene, and he was the football coach, athletic director. What we're looking, what we're looking at in Bill's little... Uh, cabinet here is the case where the medal, the bronze medal that he won in Tokyo was. That medal actually is on display now at Les Ca uh, Len Casanova Center, U of O, but that's the, the case. Yeah. Many other wonderful medals that Bill received. I don't know. This particular one is, um, uh, looks like one of, it showed that he was a member, I believe, of the Olympic team of 1960 in Rome. A lot of nice memorabilia. Oh, you, was this one at the Penn Relays? Let me see. Or more than two mile. This is when you broke the world record. Uh, you broke that world record in Philadelphia? Yeah, it looks like Philadelphia. This is a trophy silver that Bill received when he broke the world two mile indoor record in Philadelphia back in the 1950s. Wow. Yeah. So, and that one is very good too. That one? Uh, Billings, Montana? It says Billings. No. Is that the NC2A? No. Olympic trials? No. Uh, indoor world record? Yeah. Mile? Two mile. There is a great trophy of the bill received, again, breaking the world record two mile. In? In your time? Do you know where? Oh, where it was? Um, it will be there later. It was probably in Boston. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. As we all know, Bill's a Yankee fan, so to go to Boston and break world record was real tough on him. He preferred to have done that in Madison Square Garden in New York. Uh, got this that particular trophy that you're panning in on right now when he was in Athens. 
He toured a lot, raced a lot, was very successful in Europe. 1952. I was. You were a high school senior. Yeah. Oh, you were. You won two events at the state meet. Yeah. The 800, 880, and the mile. Yeah. So he's a two-time state champion uh, from Springfield High School, and that's the trophy he got for being the two-time. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. High point out. I don't think they get trophies like that no. anymore. <laughs> Sunny days that I thought would never end. 